On the shores of the Long Island Sound, Stamford, Connecticut was founded in 1641. Throughout the 1700s, it became a favorite visiting spot and holiday spot for wealthy New Yorkers. But post-Civil War brought the dawn of the Industrial Age to Stamford and elsewhere. George Blickensturfer, a Stamford inventor, patented his typewriter in 1892. He opened his first factory on Garden Street, just south of the railroad tracks. Blickensturfer's business grew as a result of his extensive marketing campaign that communicated the value of the typewriters to a wide audience. Plus, he had a reputation for a high-quality, well-designed product. Blickensturfer moved his business to Atlantic Street, not far away, and really contributed to the community, spurring on its growth by employing lots of workers and really being a fixture in the community. Stanford was a booming town, retaining its reputation as a favorite stopping point along the way to Boston. But Stanford was also a booming industrial town with companies like Schickel Motorcycle, as well as Kroger Piano, and Yale Lock Company being major contributors to the community. At the dawn of the 1900s, people were on the move and business was booming. Blickensdorfer developed the world's first laptop with a five pound secretary being the moniker that they took to the market. His typewriters were rugged to survive the travel of the day, but they were also high quality. But Blickensdorfer's real innovation begins with his keyboard. Blickensdorfer set out to design a more efficient keyboard. The common keyboard of the day was referred to as the universal, which we now call the QWERTY keyboard. His analysis showed that while a third of the keystrokes occurred on the home row, nearly a half took place on the upper row, which was the most difficult to reach. So Blickensdorfer developed what he called the scientific keyboard, where you placed your fingers at the lower row, and that comprised 70% of the keystrokes. Blickensturfer also developed the interchangeable type wheel. As you press one of the keys, the type wheel rotates and hammers down to the paper. A look inside at the mechanics of the Blickensturfer typewriter is really a testimony to his genius in both design as well as in the manufacturing process. The interchangeable wheel also allowed him to provide different character sets for different languages, opening up his worldwide opportunities and growing his market. The interchangeable wheel also allowed him to offer different fonts as well as professional typesets on an interchangeable type wheel. Blickensturfer's design also allowed the user to see the carriage much more clearly than with other designs. Therefore, they could see the print soon after it was typed. Normal operations would include the space bar, paper advance, as well as the carriage return to line advance as well. Another of his innovations was a carriage attachment that actually tabulated columns of numbers, much like a modern day spreadsheet would. George Blickensturfer also holds the patent for the world's first electric typewriter in 1900, which he produced from 1901 to 1919. Blickensturfer positioned himself at the low end on the price scale with his models costing $35 and $50. And of course there was a supply business for ink rolls as well as ink itself and other supplies needed to operate it in addition to a full line of furniture custom designed for the Blickensdurfer typewriter. World War I and Blickensdurfer's death in 1917 brought an end to the company. Stamford, on the other hand, has retained its beauty while prospering throughout the centuries.